So we have a patient who has come to us from Barangal, which is in Telangana. She was sent here for bladder endometriosis. Now she had an isolated bladder endometriosis. So what we have done, we have removed a part of the bladder. We have stented both the ureters and we have closed the bladder. This is a highly super specialized skilled surgery, which is done by us. Remember one thing, whenever the patient goes home, the patient is going to go home with this urine catheter. This urine catheter is a silicon catheter. It has to be kept in the bladder for the next four weeks because we have removed such a large part of the bladder. We have also stented both the ureters. Ureter is the pipe from kidney to the bladder and that is why the urine is little blood tinged. Okay, it will stay little blood tinged. There is no need to worry in that. What is important? The bladder should be on rest. How is it on rest? By allowing the drainage to occur through the catheter. Simultaneously, we will give her an alkalinizing syrup. Commonly, it is available called a syrup sital or syrup citralka. Along with that, we will give her a tablet in order to maintain muscular regulation. That tablet is also commonly available. Friends, no condition should occur where the catheter gets blocked. If the catheter gets blocked, bladder opens up and the whole surgery which we have, which we have done will completely fail. So that we should not do. Apart from this, patient can do everything. She can walk, she can go to school, she can dance, she can party as long as she is wearing the catheter. Catheter will be removed after four weeks. Both the stents in the kidney will be removed two weeks after that. That is after six weeks. Friends, this is a very critical surgery. Bladder is a very forgiving organ. But when you resect a large part of the bladder, the capacity of the bladder to store urine goes down. So sometimes in the future, when such a large part of the bladder has been released, patient may have frequency of urination. That means patient may feel that she needs to go to pass urine, let's say every three hours before she was going every six hours. That is because the capacity has gone down, correct? This is a counseling point which we have to do to our patients. Now friends, remember one thing, whenever you have bladder endometriosis, okay, usually let's say there are 100 patients of bladder endometriosis in, in India, maybe 90 will come to us. You should not do a cystoscopy and then take a biopsy. Never do that. Remember one more thing. When you do a cystoscopy, if you fly, find there is bladder endometriosis, it is important that we send it to an endometriosis super specialist because some of these surgeries will also require ureteric reimplantation and other reconstructions of the bladder to allow a good long-term management for patient's health. And one last thing no medical management in bladder endometriosis. No Dynogest, no Elabolics, no oral contraceptive pills, no Lopride, only one answer, get your surgery done.